obviously I think as it's gone on, as as I've been here for longer, um, my form's improved, I've got better um, as the weeks have gone by, so yeah, I'm delighted. You also scored your first goal for uh, Exeter City against Accrington recently, what did that feel like? Yeah, it was a very good moment for me, obviously I think more importantly the fact that we came out of that game with, with a good result, I think where we needed a win as well in the league was probably more important um, for me anyway, so yeah. And uh, Liam McAlinden won the award, November award for goal of the month, but of course you played a big part in that as well with the with the Crossfield ball. Um, do you know what? He had a, he had a lot to do, but um, yeah, it was a great finish from Liam. I think he took it really well. In terms of the goal you got against Accrington, is that something you you target in this season to add a few few goals um, to your record? Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely something I want to do. Is I think it's something that all the players want to want to do. We all want to add add goals to our game and score more goals so we can um, ultimately win more games. So definitely something I want to I want to add. What's it been joy like joining a new club like Exeter? Yeah, it's, there's definitely there's definitely differences. You know, every club that I've gone into has been different in its own way, but. I think here we've got a good set of lads, a good group and a good um, sense of togetherness here. And also um, the support we get here is very good as well. So that's, that's only going to formulate something that we can, we can um, thrive off. How does this dressing room and, and the camaraderie in it compare to perhaps other clubs you've been on loan at? I think, I think it's quite a calm dressing room, but I think we also have that sense of if if something if something's not going right, we pull ourselves together. Yeah. So in other in other other changes, for example, you might have a, you might have people maybe getting the hump and whatnot. But I feel like everyone's quite settled and and level headed, and we all know what we're what we're aiming to do. And I suppose it helped you settling in here, um, knowing a few familiar faces in the likes of uh, Luke Kroll and Ruben Reed as well. Yeah, that has that has helped me. Um, they're obviously guys that I've known for quite a while now, and coming here having people that I've already played with you have an understanding and it, it helps you maybe settle in what do you make of extra as a place um that's all right it's it's not like London it's no, very, very different, different yeah. very different to London but um that's nice it's quite peaceful you know like you say you had a few loan spells while uh, part of the Crystal Palace team um has it helped you at all uh, join an extra because it's a permanent basis does that help you settle in a bit more as well you could say, in a way, it gives me a chance to just know that, know that I'm here, and I know that it's a permanent rather than being disjointed and having to go back to a parent club and whatnot. And I can just get my mind straight and kick on. We've got some good strength and depth in in our midfield, in our team generally. So I think that also makes people play well, makes people play better. So that will be will be a good challenge ahead for everyone. And we're obviously delighted that we have a squad as as good as we do have a lot of good capable players so yeah it will be it's something that I'm looking forward to yeah